Last month, I made a Q&A video, a computer science topic video, and a video regarding what I do as a software engineer at a startup. And if you watch those three videos, that means you know a little bit about me. Obviously, that doesn't mean you know everything about me. After all, I am a bit spontaneous and like to change things up every now and then, and today is going to be one of those days. Today I'm going to give you a backstory on my relationship with stock trading, and I'm going to talk about the resources that I plan to use to use my stock trading strategy and turn that into a tradable algorithm. Let's start off with my backstory because if you don't hear that, then a lot of this video won't really make sense. So about four years ago when I was in college, all I really wanted to do was trade stocks. I mean, I would literally schedule classes later in the day so I could spend market open the first 30 to 60 minutes of market open to trade stocks. I would wake up, hang out for a little bit, drink a nice cup of coffee, set up my charting software, my trading software, get all of my watch lists underway to make sure I know what stocks I'm gonna be looking at that morning and be sitting in my chair at 9.25, waiting for 9.30 for the market to open so I could put my strategy and implement it so I could hopefully make some money. Stock trading alongside school was essentially my life. I would have good days and I would have bad days, but here's the problem with me, is that when I would have good days, I would have really good days. I would be doing well in class, I'd be killing it in the gym because I knew that morning I had made some money, that's good, I like to make money, but on my bad days, it was really bad. I would not be able to focus in class because I was just thinking, oh, I lost this money, I lost that money. When I was at the gym, I wouldn't be able to focus either, and it was just a bad workout because I wasn't in that best of mood. And one thing that you need to know about stock trading is that you need to be emotionless. If you make a lot of money or if you lose a lot of money, you just need to be straight face, emotionless, and that was my problem, so that's why I took a step back. I needed to make sure I focused on school. I couldn't have these really bad days anymore because that would just bring down everything. If I didn't want to work on a project, then I would, like, it was just really bad. And ever since then, stock trading for me was just the occasional long-term and swing trade. But now that I've taken all of these computer science math courses and I've coded so many different algorithms in so many different languages, and I have this good day trading strategy, why not try to merge the two together? After all, these algorithms don't get sad, they don't get happy, they don't care if you did good or bad. They're not gonna think, maybe if I just hold on to this stock a little bit longer, it'll do better because that is what will kill you. It's just gonna say, okay, you set these parameters, so I'm gonna do exactly what you say in the code. Why don't I just create an algorithm that implements my strategy? And don't get me wrong, I understand people get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to create these particular algorithms that can beat the stock market, but why can't I learn? I hold a lot of the skills that they hold, the knowledge of the stock market, maybe not to their level, but there's always room to grow and it's something that interests me, so it's, I know it's something that I'm gonna put my time into. And I know how to code. I went through my whole entire computer science degree, I did all of those math classes, I've coded in many different languages, languages at many different levels and I can just progress in that because that's something else that interests me. So I'm just gonna collide these two worlds using these resources. Resource number one is called Quantopian. I'm gonna use this resource first and foremost to learn more about the quant finance industry. What this site is all about is providing free education, data, and tools so anyone can pursue quantitative finance. They have this whole entire beautifully laid out course for free that will teach you a lot about algorithmic trading, strategy analysis, pipeline APIs, algorithm APIs, so on and so forth. But that's just the beginning of how I'll be using this resource. I'll also be using this resource as my IDE, as well as my paper trading account. I mean, the browser IDE may have some kinks, but it has access to the same libraries and data as a back tester, which I believe will help in the long run, so I don't have to worry about setting anything up. I can just hop into the browser, use the IDE, and it has everything there for me. Resource number two is gonna be the programming language Python. I'm gonna be using Python because that's what the Quantopian IDE uses, but also that's what I was gonna be using anyway. I developed a few programs with Python in my artificial intelligence class back in college that you can see on my GitHub account. One is a Connect4 client and the other is a Sudoku solver. And although I'm very happy with the outcome of those two projects, I am no Python professional, but I'm definitely up to learn more about it along this journey. 
Resource number three is going to be the Robinhood app. If you don't know what it is, it's essentially a commission-free stock trading brokerage. And the reason this is resource number three is because that's the order that this will come in. Robinhood won't help with me coding the algorithm or learning about quantitative trading, but what it's going to do is help me actually trade in the real stock market. Quantopian is where I'm going to be doing my paper trading. That's where I'm going to be testing out my algorithm. But if I want to take this into the real world, I'm going to need to hook it up to an actual brokerage, and that's where Robinhood comes in, mainly because it's free and it's compatible with Quantopian. I actually use Robinhood for a lot of my swing trades and long-term investments and if you are interested in using Robinhood, this is not sponsored, but they have this referral program where if you use my link and sign up to Robinhood using my link upon approval of your account, you will get one free stock and I will get one free stock. So if you want free stock, which is essentially free money, use the link. I will leave that in one of the top lines down in the description below this video. And speaking of taking this algorithm into the real world, one thing that we have to take into consideration is the PDT or pattern day trade rule, which is essentially if you have less than $25,000 in your trading account, which that will I'll fall under that category, you can't make three full round day trades. That means buying and selling within the same day, three times within a five day span. So we'll need to essentially code that into the algorithm, but we would do that for any brokerage. This isn't just specific to Robinhood. And if you do decide to hop into stock trading, definitely be careful and make sure you only use money that you're able to lose. Stock trading is no joke. People do this as a profession. It is very likely if you just dive in head first into trading with your real hard earned cash, you're going to lose most of it, if not all of it. So I would highly recommend opening up a paper trading account in order to really develop a strategy over the next few months or even next few years. I mean, like I said, people spend their lives doing things like this and you can find a strategy. Just make sure you're able able to find that strategy paper trading not with real money and then once you have that down and you feel confident that you're able to use real money make sure you leave emotions out of the equation and to only use money that you're willing to lose because in the stock market it can go up it can go down you could get in a trade that looks it sets up perfectly but you lose some money and maybe you lose more and more and more you don't want to have to rely on this to pay your bills don't put in your life savings into any stock just make sure you have like this play money or something that you would spend on like a new monitor or something and just hold off on that monitor and put it into the stock market if that's what you really want to do. Don't use money You're like, oh, I'll pay rent. Don't worry about the rent. Like that's not what you want to do. I'll leave a few helpful links in the description right below the Robin Hood link for those of you who care to break into this crazy world that is stock trading. Now that we have an understanding of the overall project, what I'll be doing first is going through the courses on Quantopian. My idea was to create a series called Algo Dev Journey, similar to my iDev Journey, where I document the learning process and making a video after every single lesson or maybe every two lessons, depending on how much information I learn, and essentially regurgitate that information to you based on my understanding. That'll help me learn and that'll also give you guys something valuable to sit back and watch and learn. So let me know what you think, but I'm not sure if that's the way I want to go with this. The alternative would be be me essentially working on this behind the scenes, maybe updating you guys every now and then randomly in other videos, but I want to know what you guys have to say. If you are very interested in me doing this type of series, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely take that under consideration. And for the record, I am in no rush to get this done, but it is just something I'll be working towards in the meantime. And once I'm satisfied with the algorithm, I may throw it on a Quantopian contest, which is basically something to prove the algorithm's worth. And also it gives you the potential to license this out to potential customers and people. This would be a way for me to prove the worth of the algorithm as well as make money without risking my own like you do in the stock market. However, we will talk about that more as we progress and get closer to that step in the process. But as for now, I need to study up on this and I'll discuss it more in the next episode of Algo Dev Journey, if that is indeed what you guys decide you want on the channel. Otherwise, I'll update you guys in another future video. Until next time, guys, have a good one. Peace. And what do you think of the mustache? I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking about keeping it, but...